Friends and lovers, welcome to the Stir List. It's a list of things about things, just like the internet likes. This week, hold on to your butts, because we're going to get political. Oh yes, we're going to get... What is that still? Friends and lovers, welcome to the Stir List. It's a list of things about things, just like the internet likes. Now hold on to your genitals, because this week we're going to get political. We're going to talk about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, TPP, not the Phantom Pain, Trans-Pacific Partnership. This is a, uh, a little a little copyright trade deal thing that a whole bunch of companies have signed up for. Uh, it, there's a, a European and American equivalent, the TPIP. Uh, it's to do with copyright law, trade secrets, fair use, all this kind of stuff, and it's fucked up. We only know about it because WikiLeaks uh, uh, leaked, because it, that's what it does, it's in its name, leaked a whole bunch of documentation about it, and it's scary as hell. Now I'm going to give you five quick reasons why you should be worried about it, because it affects the games industry, it affects every industry, it affects entertainment, and it's spooky. So here we are, five reasons why TPP is scary and gross for games. Do we cut away there, or do we just come back to me? I don't know how this is going to go down yet. This show's still in an experimental phase. Anyway, number one, power to the powerful. The Trans-Pacific Partnership gives more power to the powerful. That's how it's been designed. Where copyright law should be going one way, TPP threatens to pull it the other. Companies like Disney, Microsoft, Time Warner have all been involved with this little deal. Whole bunch of corporations who are invited to help write the deal in secret, look out for their shareholders and themselves, and fuck the rest of everybody else. The whole thing's been very vaguely written, and it's open to wild interpretation and, of course, a lot of abuse. When I think of the TPP deal going down, I think of the Skeksis, a whole bunch of twisted old fucks who are looking out just for themselves, decadently blowjobbing each other. And I don't know if blowjobbing's a word. Blow. It is now. It is now. Making up our own words may be all we have left once the fucking companies come in and dissect everything and take our rights away. The TPP has a whole bunch of stuff in there that's mandated. Stuff that the countries within the Trans-Pacific have to do. And all of those things are about giving corporations more power, about looking after them. Stuff that they have to abide by in order to please them, such as uh, ISPs handing over information and stuff like that. Uh, anything else, anything that pertains to consumer rights, to the rights of the customer, that's all optional. There is stuff that they should abide by, and stuff that they have to abide by. And again, like I say, it's also vaguely written that it's open to a ton of abuse. Now, what can you think of that loves to take advantage of vaguely written things and abuse them? A whole bunch of crony capitalist corporate comebacks. Number two, copyright law is already fucked. Following on from my last point, copyright law is already fucked, and this is pulling it into more fucked territory. With the dawn of the internet, what should be happening is copyright should be opening up, fair use should be more flexible. There should be more allowances for the transformative nature of the internet. Instead, what this is doing is pulling it the wrong way. Uh, we've already seen how buggered up the whole idea of copyright is right now. It was once a thing put in place to protect artists, to pr protect the creators of the work themselves. Now, pff, the artist doesn't get a look in hardly. It's more to protect the companies, the rights holders, the people who have taken the art bought it and claimed it as their own. Now, we've already seen how fucked up that is. The whole DMCA thing, how you can get a game taken down off uh, YouTube uh, just for talking about it. How Content ID has become such a rampantly abused thing. How companies have successfully lobbied over the years to take greater and greater claims over people's work. Did you know that once upon a time, copyright for a piece of work only lasted about 25 years or so in America? You had it for a while, for about long enough to live off and, and enjoy the work that you created. But then Disney, once upon a time, wanted to own Mickey Mouse and everything forever. So they successfully lobbied and pushed and pushed and pushed, and eventually that whole thing got extended to the point where it's now the life of the author of the work plus 70 years. 
a long, long time. And of course, companies will lobby for more and more. So whereas uh, I think copyright law is bullshit as it stands, and I'm not saying people don't deserve uh, the rights to their work, certainly the artists deserve copyright and deserve the protections that come with it. But that's not what copyright law is for anymore. It's to protect a whole bunch of fucking publishers, record labels, fucking producers, movie studios, uh, executives, not people. And TPP just reinforces everything that's shady and shitty about the current state of copyright. Number three, trade secrets. The Trans-Pacific Partnership has a section about trade secrets. Now this is on the surface something designed to stop your Edward Snowdens and that kind of stuff. Now that's already fucked up because, well, Edward Snowden did nothing wrong. I mean, technically he did something wrong because he broke the law or something or whatever, but he was divulging information of public interest to the public, and TPP would really like to stop that, which of course is kind of fucked up, because if there's something we ought to know, it would be nice to know it. In fact, TPP itself is something that would have been nice to have been known about beforehand, but no, we had to get WikiLeaks to leak the thing so that the people actually know about something that's going to affect the people. So it's already unnerving that free speech is being further inhibited in order to stamp down on those who want to divulge information of public interest to the public. But the vagueness of it just again allows for all sorts of abuse. There are many ways in which this could affect, uh, say, say, games media. Now, this is an extreme example, but this is just to show you how open ended the TPP is. Say, a games journalist finds something out about a game company, finds something out about a game. Uh, they, they, they might have a review copy of something and find something in there so obnoxious that they have to tell the public. Uh, some sort of hor horrible fucking uh, DRM, some sort of something in the code that's messed up. Just something that is technically a secret. Now, normally you get something like a, 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 an embargo, which is more of a, a an agreement that you won't review the game before a certain time. More serious companies will give you an NDA, now that can open you up to uh, potential legal action if you break it. Uh, these things are known quantities. Uh, what TPP uh, allows for is for criminal charges and things like that. You could be, ex you could be charged as a games journal for exposing information about a video game due to the criminalization of these trade secrets. Now yes, that sounds alarmist, yes, that sounds extreme, but that's just the kind of thing that's in there. That's It's the kind of open-ended fucking shit that, that could be allowed to happen under TPP. And that's fucked up, you know? That's kind of fucked up. Number four, DRM just got a hell of a stat boost. There's a whole section on DRM, and again, this is one of those situations like copyright law where it's the thing is already bullshit, and TPP allows it to become bullshitter. Under TPP, there'll be a whole ban on DRM uh, circumvention. Uh, this goes for a lot of things. Not just piracy, although obviously piracy is part of it, but modded systems, anything you might want to do to remove DRM from a game, so you don't want to play an Ubisoft game with you play fucking everything up. Uh, this could affect game archiving, uh, tool assisted speedruns. We already saw what happened there when Nintendo shut down someone's channel because of a tool assisted speedrun thing. Uh, digging into game files, which of course has helped expose uh, uh, con jobs before, uh, find things like on disk DLC. Uh, all kinds of scams and shenanigans and shady shit. All of this is potentially a criminal under the TPP. This could affect anyone. People who just play around with the DRM or use tools. Uh, people who mod games. People who improve games after launch when publishers bring out shitty PC versions of something. You'll be treated as a copyright infringer. And there's no cap on the civil damages that could be incurred. You could be sued out the fucking ass for any of that shit. Again, the companies have set the terms here. They've stacked the decks, they've set the terms, this is their game, and if you break the rules, you're gonna get fucked. The TPP is so far reaching that if you illegally download a game and you get caught, the police could come round and destroy your computer. 
again, sounds extreme, but it's there. It, it, it's, it's something in the bag. It's a tool that corporations will have under the TPP. Number five, well, it's just a big fuck you to us. This final point is uh, kind of an echo of the first point, but it can't be repeated enough. The TPP was written by corporations for corporations with no regard to customer rights or expectations. It's all it is. It's a bunch of fucking old executive fuck knuckles just wanking each other off scooping up everything on the buffet table so they can shit it out onto us later. And we've all seen how it goes. We've seen what happens when companies get the rights to do things they want. I remember a time when Electronic Arts said that games were too expensive and $60 was too much for a game and we should look into models where they're cheaper. A few short years later, EA has Origin, a fucking service where it gets to set its own terms, have its own market, monopolize its own fucking games. And they're still selling them for 60 bucks. And of course, with uh, uh, season passes and, and deluxe editions and all this shit, often more than 60 bucks. History has shown that when a publisher of any media has the ability to take the piss, it'll take the fucking piss. And that's just, it's horrible and scary and we should all be unnerved and creeped out and grossed out by the TPP uh, and its uh, American and European equivalent, uh, the TPIP, because it's a bunch of fucking shit. Uh, uh, obviously this is the anti-capitalist woolly liberal in me coming out, but this is the kind of shit that, that this crony capitalism leads to. Just this cloak and dagger horse shit. The fact that this was all done in secret and then fast-tracked uh, to the point where I believe in less than 90 days it becomes a thing uh, is just horrifying. This whole thing was done without input by the people who it really affects the most. Us lot. We didn't know about it. We we still don't know everything about it, and we own what we do know. We only know because it was leaked uh, by by a, a, another party, which of course, uh, under the TPP, is an incredibly illegal thing to do. Telling people about things that matter to people, which Jesus Christ, what a horrible fucking world, you know? So yeah, that can fuck off. Now I realise in some areas I'm not as learned as I am in others. Yes, even I can't be everywhere at once, I'm not omnipresent yet. And these kinds of political legal shenanigans uh, aren't my particular forte, as interesting as they are. Um, a lot of the information I got um, was thanks to a YouTube user called Tarmac, T-A-R-M-A-R-C-K, who very succinctly and, and very well um, put down the information that pertains to games uh, for everyone. I highly recommend you check his video out. Uh, it's more than just a supplementary video to this one. If anything, this video is supplementary to his. Uh, I'm just here to signal boost. Uh, I'm just here as the raving demagogue that I am, uh, letting people know this thing exists. Go check out that person's video. Um, I'll put some resource, I'll put a link to his video in the description here. Uh, I will also link to some of the resources that Tarmac's linked to as well, just to help you uh, better educate yourselves. Uh, TPP is a horrible thing. Uh, it deserves to be signal boosted, and I don't know if there's anything we can do. Uh, like I said, the thing got fast tracked, the whole thing's been clandestine. It's clearly been designed to get up and out quick before we get a whiff of it, before there's anything we can do about it. Um, it's Sopa and Pippa all over again, uh, potentially worse, and there might be nothing we can do. It, it, it makes you feel quite powerless indeed uh, uh, in, in the face of these uh, monolithic entities who just want more rights, more money, more power. It's fucked up. But anyway, the cat slept on my jacket, uh, so I don't know if cat hair's visible, but that's something I've got to deal with. That's got nothing to do with this, but that's just something I've got to deal with. It's another problem on top of everything else. So fuck all that, and, well, until next time, thank God for me. <laughs>